Hey, good afternoon. This this is Wilfredo Aguilar bringing you the word of the day. Uh, today we'll be talking about um, um, putting on cheeses. Put put on cheeses. Put on cheeses. Putting put put on cheeses. Uh, clothe yourself with cheeses. Um, it. It's interesting to um, to notice that uh, that um, that uh, when the Holy Spirit comes over, um, the Bible will say it, uh, it came upon, it came upon, and uh, and it almost gives the um, the uh, the idea that it's it's hovering, it's hovering. Um, but that's the idea that I got before. Uh, it's not until recently that I've been connecting. Um, that I've been connecting uh, upon with clothing, like it, Holy Spirit, it's like envelops you. Um, that means to come upon. It's like you put a shirt, you put a, uh, you put on a shirt, you put on a robe. Uh, it come comes upon you, uh, or it could be upon. Uh, but uh, there is something that that uh, that you can find in scripture and uh, that is the idea that you're putting on uh, your like I don't know for example sometimes people feel um, sometimes people feel like they um, they are um, they're having moods you know they're like sad they're worried they're anxious they're stressed stressed out you know you can feel it and it's almost like they're clothed and they're it's like a shirt or um, a dress for for a lady so it's it's you putting on something on you uh, and that it's fear could be fear could be um, stress anxiety um, could be worry it could be many many things um, they used to have this this custom in Israel, uh, where even the kings would put on clo uh, sackcloth, and sackcloth is it's basically like a, you know where you put those potatoes, and then it's like um, a, a sack, and it's if it's like really uncomfortable for the skin, and they would wear it. They would wear it like the like uh, like like clothes. Uh, so that makes them uncomfortable throughout the day. That means that they're wearing sackcloth. Um, it's a practice that I don't know if they still do it until this day, but uh, probably not. Uh, and definitely not something we do to humble ourselves, to show our our uh, um, our meekness to God. That we are being, uh, re we're repenting or something. We don't practice that in in other cultures. But in the in Israel, in the Jewish cult culture, it's something that they they seem to be doing before. Um, you can read that in the Old Testament when kings wanted to express their their sadness, their repentance, they would wear sackcloth for God, showing God, hey, I am I am humbling myself. I am willing to put up with this uncomfortable sackcloth and um, and yeah uh, I don't think they they did it in the New Testament I don't see it um, I haven't read come across uh, but but they did it a lot in the Old Testament in the old times uh, so the psalmist is using that um, that expression in Psalms 30 11 it says you turn my lament into dancing you remove my sackcloth. That's what I was talking about. Um, and clothe me with gladness. And clothe me with gladness. Now, this idea of clothing ourselves, um, it, it, it Paul uses it, and it, uh, interestingly, uses it with Jesus, with Christ, uh, the King. Uh, so instead of putting ourselves sackcloth, uh, Paul says to. Put on Christ, and see. Uh, but put on the Lord. Put on the Lord. 
Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires so so it says there uh, put on put on so whether upon or put on could be could be the same same concept of dressing ourselves um, it does say that in the um, in the uh, in the uh, when it talks about the armor of God, of, of God, put on the put on, dress yourself with the the helmet, helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, um, the the belt of truth. It's something you put on, you dress yourself with. It. But here in Romans 13, 11 to fourteen, it says, and especially on fourteen, it says, put on. Lord Jesus that's, that's awesome that is awesome that is dress yourself with Jesus and then with, if you dress yourself with Jesus uh, you will get righteousness you will get peace joy love uh, um, you will get all the good stuff patience um, you will get hope uh, if you dress yourself with Jesus to dress yourself with Jesus uh, uh, if you're not, it's it's important to notice that uh, that uh, this concept of dressing up is not that you literally are going to do like the Old Testament, where you're gonna get a sock cloud, or and it, no, you put on Jesus, and and basically the the whole idea of putting on, it's it's with your words, with your words, you say uh, when you say Jesus is my shepherd, um, I should not want Jesus. Um, guides me uh, those you're you are speaking and God is blessed with that God is speaks it, that's the way of putting on when you speak when you speak um, so so when you when you when you um, when you put on Jesus Lord Jesus and, and then you will be be speaking it's not something that you literally doing uh, it's something spiritual. Something spiritual always is represented with words. So Romans 13, 11 to 14 says, Besides this, since you know the time, it's already the hour for you to wake up from sleep because now our salvation is near. The end than when we first believe. The night is nearly over. The day is near. So let us discard the deeds of darkness and put the armor of light. Let us walk with decency in the daytime, not in carousing drunkenness, not in sexual impurity and promiscuity, not in quarreling jealously, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Put on, dress up yourself with Jesus and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. So, that's that's the idea today that's the message for today to dress up to put on Jesus um, the psalmist was talking about being clothed with righteousness but this this is something that is done spiritually and is done through your words you will feel you will feel um, in your physical uh, you will feel as a physical experience but it's it's like when you say Jesus is is my um, shepherd, I should not want. Um, you're saying something spiritually, but that's gonna translate into your physical world, where you you're not gonna be worried. Uh, you're not gonna be um, thinking, I don't have this, I don't have that. You're actually dressing up with Jesus. And there's nothing better than that. There is nothing better than that to, to, to acknowledge Jesus in that way. Jesus says, the hour is coming and the hour is here when true worshipers will worship me, will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. It's all about words. It's all about words. Uh, what do you say? It's interesting that when you try to justify yourself with the law, the law of Moses, you fall off uh, because you fall off because you start thinking, "Hey, I'm not doing enough. I am not. Um, I I'm not. I'm not right." 
So when you feel those those things, uh, you automatically get disabled. You're not talking. You're not speaking. You you didn't even dare to say, "Hey, Jesus is my shepherd." She's I shall not want, um, because because you're under the law. You're under the law. You need to remember, remind yourself. Jesus is all about faith because He did it. He did it. So now put on, put on the righteousness of God. Put on the clothes. Put on Jesus and um, dress yourself with Jesus. Something spiritual that you do with your words. Um, that's it for today. Dress up for Jesus. Dress up with Jesus. Use him as your clothing and put him put him on. That's the message for today. God bless you. Have a good one. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.